Hello, my name is Chris Elliott, and I'd like to welcome you to this Cypress scene view. And my guest is the well-known ex-soldier, photographer, and resident of Northern Cyprus, Mr. Richard Chamberlain. Welcome, Richard. And it seems you're always busy either sending reviews to Cypress scene for publication or promoting your books of photography from your army days way back in the 50s. So please tell us a little of your early days in the UK and how you came to take photos of Cyprus when you were in the army. I first became interested in photography in about 1950, when I was 15 years old. I had a brother who was seven years older than me and good at metalwork. Amazingly, he made me a small camera out of a Coleman's mustard tin. It took 16 millimeter film, and he also taught me how to develop the film and put the film into a photographic enlarger. I took the camera to school and started taking photos of the boys in my class. And when I got home, I developed the film and enlarged the photos and sold them to the boys for six and six. Amazing. So tell us about your time in the army. I left school when I was 16 years old and went into the print printing industry as a, an apprentice compositor. And at 18 years old, my twin brother Michael and I were told to go and join the army under the Government National Service Scheme. But before I joined the army, I went to the camera shop and bought a French camera called Gallus Deluxe. It was eight pounds, about two weeks wages in those days. I took the camera with me when I joined the army and after basic training, we were taught some sort of trade. I was taught to be a wireless operator and my brother was taught how to drive an army lorry. Oh, wow. So how did you start taking photos of Cyprus? As soon as we were sent to Cyprus, we could not believe our luck when we arrived. We thought we had arrived in paradise. We had never been anywhere up until then. As soon as we were allowed some time off, we went down to the local town, which was Farmagusta, but it's now known as Russia or Morass. I had my camera with me and I soon started taking photos of this paradise we had come to. There were camels walking down the street in Farm Augusta, old men with donkeys loaded up with farm produce, produce, rows of shoeshine boys wanting to shine our army boots. Many things we had never seen before in England, so there was plenty to photograph. Everywhere I looked, I kept taking photographs. Luckily, the army had a dark room in Farm Augusta for us soldiers to go and develop our films and print the photographs. I spent a lot of my time in that, in that dark room. Before we went into the army, my two brothers and I used to cut each other's hair. So besides the cap I took with me, I took the hair clippers. In those, in those days, the young soldiers style was to have their hair long but the army didn't like long hair so the Cypriot army barber used to cut it short so because I would just give them a little trim I soon became more popular than the camp barber I used to charge them six sixpence for a trim up I soon took enough money each week not to take my army wages so I saved them Unfortunately, the army sergeant major caught me cutting hair one day and banned me. But it wasn't long before the soldiers were asking me for just a trim again, and I had to start it up again. But when I came out of the army, I put my negatives and prints away in a cupboard because I didn't think there was much interest in Cyprus in the UK. Years later, my brother came across them and gave them to me. I decided to get all the negatives scanned and put on CD. And then I decided I would put the photos together in a book. With the help of a friend, we designed a book and put them all together and had it printed. I sold quite a few books on, to, on Amazon. 
In about 2015, I had decided to move to Northern Cyprus for good. I took my CD with all the book photos on it and it had it printed again in Northern Cyprus. I have sold or given away about a thousand books. I have presented my, my book to four Northern Cyprus presidents and now I've been asked to donate my collection of photographs to an archive of old Cyprus photos that is being set up by Nicosia, Nicosia Museum. I am honoured and pleased to accept. Well, Richard, thank you. That, that's most fascinating. Um, so as we um, come to the end of this little, little chat, in our video, we're going to add on some clips of a previous video we made with you in the old round tower again some years ago. And I hope that you and our viewers will also uh, um, sit and enjoy and enjoy your past hobby through your pictures. So thank you very much, mate. Um, I hope to see you again soon. Okay, Chris, thanks a lot. All okay. the best. My name is Margaret Sheard and with my partner Chris Elliott, we set up a website called www.cypressscene.com just over a year ago. We are always keen to talk to interesting people and recently I had the privilege of talking to Richard Chamberlain who has published a book called Cypress Scenes and Way of Life in 1954 which includes photographs he took when he did his national service in Cyprus in 1954-55. It was 50 years later that Richard's brother found the negatives and they were reproduced into prints which are on exhibition here at the Round Tower in Kyrenia. The quality of the photographs is excellent when you realise they were taken almost 60 years ago. Richard's book can be purchased at the Round Tower in Kyrenia or from Amazon and you can find out more of this and about Richard and his time in Cyprus on our website. He lives in uh, Chelmsford then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you were in an English walk, or was it? Was he in English walk? Yeah, that's oh, right. right, yeah, yeah. It wasn't this bus, but it was. Yeah. There was the buses used to have a flat down, uh, the flat, and it and it the, yeah, the flat, it the flat it went all up in the air, and it dented the wing of the. Uh, the so you were driving without insurance, were you? <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? He's a proper old man. One of the main Hamel the drivers. And I've seen photos. Yeah. Amazing, isn't it? Well, mechanical stuff, isn't it? So. Yeah, well, I mean, that, that was built to last, wasn't it? Yeah. The weight of that and the, for its yeah, size. It Thanks very so much. Wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you, you know, when you think, look at that, the quality. Yeah. I mean, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I've, I've nothing to do with the quality, it's the, the camera. But I mean, when you think of the the lens that that must have had yeah. in those days, yeah. to yeah. yeah, because you don't see them now. No, no that's <laughs> right. No. Um, so that must have been really brilliant. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Came that. Yeah. yeah. My, Mike and me, my brother, was walking down the road, and uh, all of a sudden, around the corner came these camels, yeah. and uh, we were really surprised, you know, because you don't see many camels no. in here where we came from. <laughs> 
and then that we, we was a we used to spend a fair bit of time in the market. Um, yeah, I mean these old uh, are, are they Turkish, proper Turkish, or do you know whether? Um, I think the Greeks think, used to wear them as well, didn't they? I'm not yeah. really sure, but I always think of that as Turkey, so baggy, baggy trousers. Baggy trousers yeah. and the, the boots. Yes, yeah. Sir, yeah. yeah. Um, so thought, where, where would that be in relation to now, that market? Is it where there is... It's all shut off. That's where in uh, Morass or Barasha. Oh, this is our Yeah, all, right, all these right. pictures. This wasn't. Yeah. Uh, the, all these were taken in... Uh, the shut off oh, area right, now. That's right. Yeah. So all this, all this was, uh, I think, um, did they, they call it, um, who calls it Marashi? The, the Greeks the Greek. call it Marash and the Turks the, call, call it, it Varasha. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, well, this is in Varasha then. Mm -hmm. And this is where, like, the equivalent of the old, not the old city, but the, the more modern yeah. Armagusta. Yeah. 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 And, uh, like I did this about the farm because the trades because I've been a shoe shine boy. Yes. And um, typical of trades. You yeah. still do get shoe shine. Uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. That's still yeah. around. I have my sandal shoe shine. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the the boot, boot mender and the the girls uh, stenciling the orange boxes. Yeah. In left kosher, and there was a man there that actually made pipes. Oh yeah. And now he yeah. just a yeah. wooden. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. So it's an old sort of tray. Yeah. Still. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, this this old camera is amazing, really. I mean, look at the way it's all tied up with. Yeah. With, uh, <laughs> yeah. Or whatever. And then um, it, actually, they use it. It says there a photographer outside the farm goes through who could produce a print. Why waited? I don't think it was such a yeah. No, but I mean, they did. Yeah. I mean, they yeah. might, I don't know this how they did it. Um, he's got all the uh, sacking around his feet and all yeah. that, you know, real yeah. down and out. Yeah. And uh, I, I used to see him and then I took that picture of him as he was and he was all right about it then. But I, another time, I, I don't know quite whether it was the next day or whatever, it seems like he's similar. Oh, he hasn't got his hat on. Anyway, uh, I went to take it again, and uh, and he really got fed up with me. <laughs> and this stick, he threw this stick at me, and uh, you can just see it go whizzing through the air. All right. <laughs> Over. On. And uh, uh, they asked us to take off our boots because of the studs in the boots. Yeah. And, uh, the big uh, stud now boots. Yeah. And uh, carry your boots because they didn't want to wear the carpet out <laughs> on the on the plane. Well, I was, uh, you take uh, about a hundred blokes who yeah, carry uh, walking yeah. on the plane with all those boots yeah, on, yeah. and it could have. I mean, especially if they, they used it regular, I suppose. Mm -hmm. We had to come down in Malta to refuel it. it, it the plane wouldn't go all the way yeah. to Cyprus and everything. And I think we we uh, took off from uh, Blackheath, I think, in. Um, in England, yeah. it was just sort of an army um, or air force uh, airport. Still used today. Is it? Mm. Oh, mm. yeah. And this one is just a, a poster picture I photographed mm. of showing you the how it is or well, was. Yeah. And I suppose it's similar to that now. I did a bit ramshackle. Yeah. And, I mean, some of those buildings must be a bit. Um, and steady, I should think. Well, yes, I think they're um, not in good condition. I mean, we walked along, I don't know where it would be. Would it be this end or that end? That end, yeah. That end. Yeah, there's it's a Palm you... Beach, and there, there, yeah. like, there was a fence across there, wasn't there? That's right, you can yeah. walk that far and then look, but because you don't see it as much. From this end, they're taken from this like end, no. Um, and then this shows you the, as it, it was. Completely without any hotels yeah. all that time ago. I don't know when they started building. Uh, no, 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 but um, anyway, they, uh, I think myself that.